are arguably the most physical team in the AHL. They take their share of hits, but often dish out much more than they take. And their brand of hockey has been a recipe for success so far this season. I think it's huge. It, for me, that's what I make my living at, so I think it's really important. But for a team, teams need to have not just one or two guys be physical or, or get in the in the fisticuffs and that stuff. You need everybody being physical. Guys that are skilled, if they're physical as well, it just it elevates their game and it, it, they bring more to the table. And in, in our league, it, it helps them get to the next level. We want to pursue the puck and we want to make teams uh, get pushed off the puck and we want to win a lot of battles offensively. So uh, certainly an area we've tried to concentrate on this year. The physical brand of hockey is nothing new to the city of Philadelphia or the Flyers organization. Year in and year out, the Flyers still bring that approach to the rink. After all, this is the city that produced the Broad Street Bullies. You know, you can wear other teams down, their skilled players with, uh, with size and with strength and, and with physical play. And I think this organization it had success with that in the past. And I think that the fans in this town appreciate that, but not just uh, the physical play, but the hard work that goes along with it. And I think the, the people the city really identify with that and it seems to work for this organization. I just think it's uh, the way the organization has just been brought up ever since I think the Broad Street Bullies and everything like that. It's just uh, just heritage. I think that uh, you come in here, you got to play tough and physical in order, in order to win. And I think that's what you got to do throughout the league now too. And the Phantoms have been winning. They are an impressive 13-3-2 in their last 18 games, helping to take the sting away from leading the league in penalty minutes with Peter Vandermeer, the individual league leader by far this year. I think we had a problem early on where we were taking too many penalties and they weren't good penalties for the hockey team. You know, we want to take penalties that negate scoring chances. We want to take penalties while we're trying to be physical as far as in, in between the whistles and finishing our checks. Try to go a long way to negate some of the unnecessary lazy penalties or retaliatory penalties. And I think we've done a better job of that as of late. Some of those, the, uh, the physical uh, penalties, you know, uh, you know what you're doing. Sometimes the little wires in your head touch and, you know, and something happens and you don't, you can't explain it, but uh, you, you, you got to be pretty smart. You know, as, as things have changed, there's getting fewer and fewer guys that actually do get in fights on a regular basis. And I'm, I'm one of those guys. I, I'm out there, I'm an emotional guy. If somebody does anything to one of my teammates or I think you would help, help the flow of the, the game in our favor. I got no problems doing that at all. As long as you're dishing out more than you're taking, it's a lot of fun. Well, Peter Vandermeer has already had a little bit of fun as he's been mixing it up in the first period, but it's 2-0 on the scoreboard in favor of Binghamton. Stay with us.